Well, it is bowl week for Boise State. It is the Broncos fifth trip to the Vegas Bowl. A few major storylines we've been talking about have been brewing since the announcement, including the man who will be standing across from the Broncos at on the University of Washington sideline. Former Boise State coach Chris Peterson, who launched the Broncos into the national spotlight with Brian Harson as his quarterback coach and offensive coordinator. The two reunited tonight in Vegas. Jay and Will were there and are there uh, to document this historic moment. And fellas, this was a moment that neither coach was hoping for when the season ended. But knowing both of these guys, I'm sure they handled it with class and reverence. Absolutely, Mark. Yes, welcome live down to Las Vegas. Jay Tust alongside Will Hall for the fifth time in my nine seasons of covering this team. It has led us here to doing live shots in mid-December outside the Hard Rock Hotel. My second time in the last five years, Las Vegas unofficially the home away from home for us. Yeah, by the way, a little chilly down it here is. in Las Vegas, it might is. we add. But yes, this one does have kind of a special cool storyline to it. And following a 10-hour commute to work, it <laughs> led us to the moment that we've all been waiting for ever since this bowl game was announced. Brian Harson and Chris Peterson standing side by side this evening. And we were able to see it and it was like two good friends seeing one another for the first time in a couple of years like it has been for these two. But biggest thing that stood out to me tonight talking with both coaches is the respect and admiration they have for each other. Two words that you took right out of my mouth. Well, couldn't agree more. Earlier, we did ask Coach Harson the, about the impact that Coach Pete made on his career. This is what he had to say. When you're around really, really good people, um, I think it's it's pretty easy to see. And if, and if you have some awareness, you pay attention to that. I've always respected Pete as the highest character. I've always respected the, the developmental piece that he brought to the staff because you're always getting better. And that's one of the things, like the details, the standards, the everyday finding ways to improve, um, doing it the right way always doing it the right way. Uh, those type of things are what stood out to me. You know, uh, along with what Will was saying about the admiration that both coaches have for each other, you also felt like both were very comfortable in their yes. surroundings tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And it was kind of surprising because they're getting ready for a bowl game. They have National Signing Day bright and early tomorrow morning. A lot of stress, practicing, traveling down here to Las Vegas, and they both seem really relaxed tonight. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Uh, I will say this, though, too. You want to talk about comfortable places. Well, sure, Coach Pete lives on Montlake now and is the head coach of the University of Washington but he still enjoys the occasional trip back to the city of trees. Oh, I love it. I love Idaho. You know, I, I love Boise and uh, we have a ton of friends there. We have family there. And um, so I'll always be connected to, to Boise. And I always think we're so blessed because Boise and Seattle couldn't be more different in a lot of ways. And they're awesome. You know, when you spend time in one place, you're you get so used to it and so comfortable and you go to the other place and you're like jitter like like i don't know if i fit and then you're there a week or so and you, you adjust and then you don't think he so it's been a really awesome combination and experience for us to go back and forth and what we've really come to know is they're really great places because of the people Couldn't agree more. Coach Pete kind of did the opposite of what I, what I did. I grew up in the Seattle area, moved to Boise. I love going home to visit family, but I also can't wait to get back to Boise, those nice people and less traffic. And one stat that we have to throw uh, or leave you with, Mark, um, the road trip stats, the, the gum count for Will, four packs, <laughs> and we listened to 66 total Christmas songs just to get in the holiday spirit on the way down here. You know what? My takeaway from tonight, I love Coach Pete. Any situation he's comfortable with, and I love him making the shot of him making small talk to the showgirl next to him. Hey, where are you from? Oh, yeah, Minnesota? Really? <laughs> that, okay, that's that's cool. never comfortable yeah. for Coach Pete. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was hilarious. It's a photo op. You know, it's so uncomfortable, and so you got to 
talk to the person who's next yep. to you. In that case, it was a showgirl. All right, sounds good, you guys. We'll check back with you tomorrow. Meantime, Bowl Week is a special week for the players who get pampered with events and swag. Here's what the Vegas Bowl hands out to the players on both sides. Uh, it includes a gift suite. And the NCAA allows bowls to give up to $500 worth of goods to the players on both teams. And that could be tech gadgets or clothing or whatever. They also give out socks, a beanie, and a portable charger. Meantime, the Idaho Potato Bowl coming up on January 3rd gives out a Thule Achiever computer backpack. Also a hip pack, a beanie, and a commemorative coin.